Hey, today we are in Volkswagen with a MIP2 based uh, Discover Media navigation system, but there are many different uh, many different uh, infotainment systems based on the MIP2 technology. You have Volkswagen, Seat, Skoda, Audi systems, also Porsche, uh, PCM4. Okay, and uh, when it comes to the features that are in this uh, unit, you have to split those in two. One of, uh, one of those can be enabled with good old coding head adaptation change like the off-road screen that we have over here. You just have to change some coding and adaptation values to have this screen add and that's pretty much it. But some features like for example the app connect which gives you CarPlay, uh, Android Auto and Mirror Link on your display uh, require um, uh, so-called FETS codes or swap codes. And what are those? If you go and press your menu button, press and hold it for a few seconds, you will see this service mode screen. You have this function enabling codes, which is FETS for short, and swap over here. Swap is uh, short for software as product. This is a new strategy, new, not so new, uh, new in automotive industry, new strategy to sell you um, software as a product. So features like CarPlay or a performance monitor, or some navigation uh, features or your um, uh, voice uh, voice recognition system those features are um, locked and uh, there are, there is a safety code that makes sure that you are not using those features uh, without the license so if you go over here you have two sections you can check which codes are which codes are supported by the device and which are actually installed so in the installed section we have only four codes which are valid over here you can see that those are valid and in the supported section we can see all the codes that could be installed in this radio unit if i had the correct um, correct code uh, so what to do if you want to enable some feature that is that is protected by the um, function enabling code? Well, there are two ways. You can either buy the code. So when you go to the menu, you press up connect, you can see that you can contact your dealer by the activation code and they will install it for you. It's not as, as easy as just press a few buttons on the screen and that's it. They need to actually connect your car to the to the uh, diagnostic interface and uh, register your um, your code and uh, upload it to the car to make this feature available. And the other way to do it is buying or getting your um, head unit, the one in the glove box, hacked. And there are um, some companies that are doing this uh, remotely or you need to uh, send them your head unit and sometimes they go to you and uh, do it in your car on your driveway. Um, either way it's kind of not so legal but I uh, I leave that um, I'm leaving that to your conscience but in some cases like in uh, Porsche PCM 4.0 system it's the only way to enable some features like the Android Auto which is not available even if you want to buy it there's no option to buy it in uh, at your dealers but you can enable it by hacking the device Okay, if you want to learn more about the codes, if you want to check uh, what, uh, which code is really responsible for what feature and if you want to check part numbers, if you want to buy legal codes and install them, install them in your car at your dealership, um, check the description below this video and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this simple explanation on how this works in uh, MIP2 generation devices. Also subscribe for my future videos and see you soon.